hello everyone so we will continue our PySpark tutorial so in previous video we have seen like how actually the filtering how actually we can create a data frame how actually the grouping how actually the aggregation works in this particular video we are going to see about the joining and the union and how actually it works in a PySpark okay so for taking example I have one of the examples let us try to understand one by one first we will start with the joining part so in a joining what actually happens we have a four types of the join one is the inner join second is the left join third is the right join and four is the full outer join now let us try to understand with the example so that we will get more, more understand about it okay so we have a two table one is the customer table and second is the order table okay if you will see in a customer table we have information about the customer ID and the country information in order table if you will see we have a information about the order ID customer ID and the purchase now what is my requirement is like we have to join these two two table okay on what are the information which I want I want information about the customer ID and where actually it belongs what is their country and how many purchase he is doing okay so this is the three column actually we want okay now if you will see in a customer table we only have a two information one is the customer ID and the country but the purchase information is not available that is available in a second table so if you want to merge the both the table so what is the common column which is available in the both the table based on that actually only we can be able to merge it right so if you will see in a customer id which is present in a first table is also present in a order table so this customer id we can use from the both the table and we can do a merging okay now we have a four types of the join let us try to understand and how actually the joining works okay so first is the inner join okay whenever we talk about the inner join what actually happen whenever you apply a joining right the inner joining so what actually happen so we are using a customer ID which is present in a both the table so whatever the common record which is present in a both the table that only records you will get in a inner join okay now if you will see what are the common record which is present in a both the table in a customer ID so if you will see 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 is also available in a second table the rest of the information is not available right these are the two common records which is present in a both the table so in inner join what actually happens so whenever you we will apply a inner join right so we will get only the common record which is present in a both the table like the customer id will customer id 3 4 5 6 we will get corresponding to the their uh, country information also we will get and corresponding to the purchase what they have done that also we will get it so that is how the inner join will, will work okay so this will be the output you will get when you will apply a inner join okay whatever the common record which will be present in the both the table that only you will get it when you will apply a inner join okay i hope you got it now we will talk about the left join in a left join what actually happens you will get all the records from the left table so this is our left table and this is our right table right so what when what actually happen when you apply a left join right so you will get all the records from the left table so what are the customer id is present in a left table so all the records you will get it okay customer id similarly from all the ta from the lab table we have country information also so this is also we'll get it now in a in a inner join what actually happen all the records from the lab table you will get only the matching record which is present in a right table that information you will get it okay the purchase is present in a right table right so what are the common record is present three four five six this only is matching right so this corresponding to this only we will get it in a purchase 3 4 5 6 ok 3 4 5 6 is only is present in the both the table so corresponding to that we will get the purchase information rest information we will get as a null ok that is how the joining works left join works ok similarly if we we'll talk about the right, right join so in the right join what actually happens you will get all the records from the right table so if you will see all the customer id information you will get it from the right table okay corresponding to their purchases also we will get it right in a right table but the country whatever is matching in a both the table so 3 4 5 6 right 3 4 5 6 country information only we will get it rest information is not present in a both the table so we will get it as a null okay so we have to remember it like this so if we are seeing a left join so you will get all the records which is present in the left table you will get only the matching records which is present in the right table that you will get it okay when we will talk about the right join all the information from the right table you will get it only the matching records which is present 
in a lab table that only you will get it okay when we'll talk about the full outer joints in a full outer joint what actually happens you will get all the record from the both the table if you'll see customer id one two three four five six seven is present in the lab table okay and here we also have a 1098 okay so this also we will get it means all the records you will get it total we have a customer id is like 10 right 7 is present in the lab table and 8 9 10 is present in the right table so all the information we will get it corresponding to all the country information you will get it okay and corresponding to all the purchase we will get it 3456 three four five six is matching in a both the table so we'll get it three four five six okay and ten nine eight also we'll get it ten nine eight is also matching so we'll get it rest information purchase information is not there so we'll get as a null okay so that is how the joining works i hope you got a clear cut idea okay now let's do a practical and we'll try to understand okay so what actually i have done i have created a two data frame one is the employee and corresponding to their columns similarly for the department also I have created one list and corresponding to their data frame so if I will execute this and if I will show you I have created two data frame one is the employee data frame second is the department data frame okay let's get executed then we'll understand okay now here if you'll see this is my employee data frame and second is the de department data frame okay if i will show you what is my first data frame employee df dot so this is my first data frame what is my second data frame if i will show you department data frame so i have a department df okay so if i will show you department data frame i have this department table okay now if you will see in the both the table okay in a both the data frame if you will see in an employee data frame I have information about the employee ID name their year of joint employee department ID gender and salary but the department name is not present okay in a department uh, data frame if you will see we have a department name and the department ID so what is the common column which is available in the both the table department ID which is present in the both the table okay so we will use department ID to join so that we will get the department name information okay so how actually we can use a joining here okay so let us try to see in a PySpark how actually you can use a joining so what you have to write first you have to write the first data frame name okay so this is my first data frame name I have written okay then after that you have to write join dot join what is your second data frame just write it right okay then comma employee df dot which particular com column you want to join I want to join this employee department ID column okay from the first data frame equal equal to the department df dot department ID this two co column is present in both the data frames so I will use that and then comma which particular join you want to apply I want to apply the inner join and if I will do a dot so okay you will get the result the inner join okay so whatever the co common column is present in both the table that record only will get it okay if you will see in a second column 10 20 30 and 40 okay 10 20 and 40 this is only the common records which we have so when we apply the inner joints we got only the information about the 10 20 and the 40 okay that's how the inner join works okay the syntax is for the left join and right join is also similar instead of the inner we have to apply a left if you will do a left you will get the left uh, left join result similarly if you will apply a if you will write a right you will get the right join result similarly if you will apply a Similarly, if you will apply a uh, uh, outer, then you will get the result for the full outer join. Okay, so I hope you got it. That is how the full, uh, that is how the joining works. Okay. Now let us start with the union part. So in a union, what actually happens? So in union, suppose you have a two table. Suppose this is my first table and this is my second table. So when you want to join a row basis, okay, row by row. So then generally we use a 
union okay so what will be the my output when I will apply a union employee ID so when I will do a union so this is how the output I will get it okay all the records I should get it make sure the schema should be same in both the table then only the union will work okay so let us try to see with the example so I have a two table so I have a two data frame one is dif different one is DF and second is the DF2 okay okay in first data frame I have four records in the second data frame also I have a five records okay now let us try to see if I will apply a union how it actually the syntax will look like so you have to write the first data frame dot union what is your uh, second data frame name df2 ok and dot so if I will do this I should get all the records you can see we are getting 9 records 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ok in PySpark so union and union all both works like same it will not drop the duplicates but in a SQL union I will drop your duplicates also right okay so here we have to use the indifferent event if you want to drop a duplicates okay but that is how the union works i hope you got it